Hi, my name is Sean Capson, and today I'm going to be doing a review, a product review um, from a company that I really trust and um, I really enjoy working with the owner. And he was so kind to give me, send me up a kit and uh, through the mail, and I received the package. And I'm going to review all of the components that are inside this box. Now, um, my thing is, uh, I have a lot of experience running natural gas vehicles, um, repairing, maintaining, engineering, and designing com parts and components. Um, I have 900,000 miles of actual driving on CNG. Uh, in 2002 was my first year that I uh, worked on CNG vehicles, and um, since that time I have been repairing, maintaining, and installing kits, components, and uh, different parts. So in that time I have a lot of experience working with all of the CNG companies around the world and uh, the dealerships and OEM repair and maintenance facilities. And so I have a lot of experience, most, I have probably more experience than anybody else in the CNG field. Um, some of the original pioneers in natural gas back in the 90s and the two, early 2000s. Uh, those people are retired and moved on. Since that time, a lot of um, technology and advances in the natural gas aftermarket industry has taken over. And believe it or not, the aftermarket natural gas components that are purchased are actually better than anything that the OEMs offered up until 2010. In 2010, uh, OEM companies such as General Motors actually stopped making their own products and they started putting kits and components from different manufacturers, aftermarket companies, on OEM vehicles. Uh, since that time there have been a couple of other companies who, um, from around the world, from Italy and Poland, who have actually mainstreamed their own products over here in the United States because they work so well. and they're being installed on brand new vehicles today. So what I'm going to show you is inside of this box, um, this is from cngpitstop.com. Uh, this is says it's a four-cylinder CNG bifuel sequential injection kit. Now my history, I have actually installed a system on a vehicle, on a Chevrolet truck, and it was taken down and was EPA tested. It was approved. It was it did pass its first run tests, uh, which means that it did not have to go back for any kind of uh, modifications or uh, additions. So I do have experience with uh, what the EPA requires, what they want, and I do agree with everything that the EPA wants. Um, so I know what components are necessary to make a kit EPA certified and what is legally responsible that should be installed on a vehicle. Um, the owner of this company, CNG Pistop, he told me that what he offers to c customers who come into his shop and uh, people who would like to uh, become an authorized Europe Gas retail and installer, um, he offers from tank valve to the complete system inside of one box. So I'm going to go through that with you today and we'll open this box up and see what it has. But what he really specializes in is making sure that if there is a company who wants to be a certified Europe Gas installer, uh, that all they have to do is give him a call, tell him what vehicle that they are working on, and his selling point is he will send them a box with everything they need from the nuts and bolts to install the regulator every single swage lock fitting that goes on to the CNG tank, the two um, ferrules and fittings, um, the fill receptacle, every single thing that is required to make a kit EPA certifiable and fully compliant with the law. So um, that is very, very important because in Utah, um, we can actually install CNG systems on vehicles even though they're not EPA certified kits. But the law is we do have to install them based on what the EPA would require. 
Uh, that would include a check valve in the line, the right between the fill receptacle and the tank. Um, it would require a quarter turn valve and um, proper venting and ventilation, um, as well as the anti-contaminant system uh, must be able to not uh, inhibit, interfere, or redesign the EPA system that was already in place in the vehicle, which would affect the emissions. So let's go through the box. I'll stop blabbering and open it up to see what we have. Okay, so what he has in here is um, a letter here showing, okay, so this, this here, we did talk about this on the phone about his uh, kit's parts and his training program that he offers. I'll go through that later. Um, he has his kit prices, so um, this kit is not available as something that you would be able to buy on eBay or KSL or any kind of online. You can't just buy this. Um, if you see this system, a Europe gas system, uh, this is only going to be installed one of two ways, either um, through CNG Pit Stop, which is the actual um, person who is putting these kits together. This is this is a central person. Um, or you're going to be able to get it from an authorized retailer, and I'll go through that, how you're going to be able to obtain that as well. So in case you don't live in Utah, uh, he is actually training different companies in different parts of the United States to install this system the way you see it. Alright, so this right here, we did talk about this. This is actually really neat, very unique. Now, as you see on here, it says cngpitstop.com, has your CNG diamond. So if you're installing the kit, um, you're going to cut this out, and as one unit, you just put this on the back bumper, or I mean not the bumper, the back tailgate, the back tail uh, trunk lid, um, a vertical surface that is not a bumper is legal. And this will just go on in one step. It has your legal manual shutoff valve sticker. Uh, this has your multiple vehicle stickers that are required. Uh, one will be placed in your fuel door and one will be placed under your hood. Uh, so these are both provided so you don't need to guess, do any kind of research and wonder what is legal because it's all right here on this one sticker sheet. Now, what I'm going to tell you today is unique to CNG Pit Stop. If you want to become, uh, let's say you own a tire factory and you want to do CNG installs in your area, Gary offers a program that is runs for three days and as you are completed you can either choose to use his uh, name or if you want to use your own company logo he will actually send these with your kit, with your company logo, right here. That way you look professional. So we'll put that there. Alright, so the first bag I'm pulling out here is an accessory kit. I'll open that up in a minute. We'll talk about that. And here is the vent kit, or protection kit for your bag and your vent lines. Uh, that's a really big hose, flexible hose. Now uh, this is protective shielding for your wires, possibly going into your engine compartment or different areas in your engine. Okay, same thing with this, that's another wire tie or wire protector. And your hoses. And I'll go over the importance of these here in a minute, each part individually. Alright, looks like a brand new set of injectors, the wiring harness kit, and your map pressure sensor. Now this is the computer that you're going to receive. Alright, so this is the fill ho the fuel hose, and this is very important, this is a question a lot of people ask. Um, I've talked to a lot of people about it. Uh, this is a 3600 PSI working pressure CNG. Now this is a 340 stainless steel 
line. Uh, this comes standard in all of his kits. So in case you're wondering, no, this is not the cheap brass seamed line. This is a rolled tube stainless steel hose. So you will get your legal uh, components right here in your kit. Uh, this is the natural gas regulator. Uh, this is your colored wiring diagram with also the breakout of what each wire is on the ECU pinout. And then also the instructions on your calibration, which is very easy. Okay, this is going to be your small parts bag, and I'll go through what's in there as well. Your standard Europe gas filter. Uh, the filter media in here, I do do tests on these and pull them apart, and the filter media required in there will uh, meet the micron requirement of these natural gas injectors. Okay, and this is going to be your tank accessory bag. This is going to be what's going to help you with your large um, your natural gas tank and line installation. And your pressure gauge and your sending unit. And I'll talk about this, why I like this. And this is something unique that Gary engineers himself. He has these made. Uh, this is a universal 3600 PSI uh, mounting bracket for your fill receptacle. And the thing that Gary specializes in that he does most of is he removes the 90 degree or the really poor insulation under the hood um, fill receptacles and he replaces them with this and this bracket you can put in your vise and you can bend in multiple configurations and he mostly puts these in his fuel doors of the vehicle that way your OEM appearance is not compromised all right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the brain of the system. Now, the review I'm going to do today is, I, I get asked questions all the time of what kind of CNG system you should use. This system, this is the brain, this is called the Oscar N SAS, and the, the SAS stands for self-adjusting system. Now, what makes this little unit so special is not only the size, um, I mean, look at the, look at the size of the unit. Um, most natural gas computers are massive, take up a lot of room, it's very difficult to find a place to install them on your vehicle, you have no idea where to put them. Not only could you put this inside the vehicle, but you can put them outside anywhere you could hide it or find room. You do have that option. Okay, so what is, what is important about this? Now, the OBD is critical on natural gas systems. You need to have a computer that can interface with your factory computer and be able to operate together. That way all of your fuel trims and all of your operating conditions will line up together and they can work together. That's what makes a good system. And this one will do that. Believe it or not, this system inside has the emulator for all Hemi engines built in, this little itty bitty unit, also, it has the, uh, the OBD adapter portion built in, which most other computers need a separate module or they need to be larger to be able to accept all the different types of fuel injection systems. And this little itty bitty unit can do all of that. All right, so that's, that's what I, why I like this. Now, out of all of the CNG systems that I've used over the past 14 years, um, there's only two systems that I would actually open a business myself and use. I've used every system out there, I've experienced them, and there's only two that I would use, and this is one of them. And so if you want to open up your own business, and you, or as a customer you have been seeing all the different kit prices, or wondering if you should do it yourself or have it professionally installed, there are only two systems that you should use that are made in the entire world, and this is one of them. So the wiring harness that you receive here, as an installer or as a customer, um, something that is really, really unique that I really like, and when I was selling kits with somebody else, uh, one thing that made or broke a 
uh, purchase that somebody was interested in was how the, this, this ECU harness, how easy it was to interface with the vehicle. Um, most kits that you buy around the world, they will have, and it's called the injector harness that goes through your petrol injectors. Most of them are blunt cut, which means that uh, they don't, you have to hardwire solder them in to your vehicle's wiring harness. So you need to have a Mitchell 1 diagram and you need to uh, find out where the wires are in your harness and you need to cut them and solder them in. That is the proper way to do it. Uh, you can do a really clean installation like that. Um, you can hide your wires very well. But what my point is, is one thing that concerned a lot of people was their new vehicle warranty. They say, look, if I drive my brand new vehicle into the dealership and they see this installed on my vehicle, they're going to avoid my warranty. So what I'm going to show you is something very unique on this wiring harness. Uh, these are called EV1 injector uh, plugs. Okay, now these ones go to your factory petrol injectors. Now, what is neat about this is, most people don't know, if you go to eBay, you can buy, um, let's say you have a 2000 to 2013 Chevrolet pickup truck, which is the most common, uh, or you have a Hemi. Uh, they use an EV6 injector plug. This is an EV1. This is what all the older Fords use. But you can actually go to... Um, eBay and you can buy this little adapter plug, it's really tiny, it's, it's just that big, and you can plug it directly into here, plug it directly into here, you can quick connect, just all you have to do is remove your factory fuel injector, plug it right into here, plug this one right into your factory injector, you're done. Um, the top portion of this is going to go to your natural gas injector. Um, so. Let's say you do have a problem, your, your customer's worried about it or you're worried about it. Uh, going into the dealership with a system, all you have to do is just unplug this system off the vehicle. I have actually done that before with a very expensive vehicle of mine. And you just unplug it. When you get your vehicle back for the repairs to the engine or if, if you had a problem um, you were worried about, just plug it right back in and you're good, you're good to go. So that's, that's actually a really good selling point I like to use. I don't know if it's applicable to everybody or if uh, anybody really cares, but that's something I did. Um, the terminals here are pre-terminated with their own fuse holder um, for the power and the ground. Um, I love that. I love it when they're wired like that. Um, I do reviews on that all the time. Um, what that does is that provides better reliability because they did this in the harness itself at the factory that way you know that they have tested these um, these are gold plated terminals um, so you know you're not going to have any kind of problems with them um, in this one wiring harness here that's going to go inside of the cab you're going to have your all your wires going to your fuel switch um, I see the oxygen sensor wires so yeah this uh, yeah this says Bosch 4 can, so yeah, this is good for the can system on your OBD port. Uh, so I did talk about the fuel hose. Um, you're going to see a lot of CNG systems or kits that you think you're getting a good deal on that you're buying on eBay or uh, from somebody else who's claiming that they are, they're using um, legal or high quality stuff. Uh, this, the hose that you're going to have either as a customer getting this installed on your own vehicle if you take it down there to CNG Piss Off, or as an installer, right away you know that you're going to be getting the best stuff. 304 stainless steel stamped right on the hose. You can already see it. Um, also, if you take a look, you'll know if it's rolled or seam because you'll see a seam and there's no seam. Yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll see a seam. And the seamed hoses, um, they're just, they're seam. There's, there's literally kind of like a weld around all the hose on one side. And, it's not as strong. Um, so this this will be a safe hose you can rely on for years, absolute years. Salt and corrosion won't eat it away. It does have a nice vinyl coating so um, you can trust this to be safe in your passenger vehicle. Um, you do get a standard hose. So in a four cylinder you're going to receive one in a V6 or V8. There's actually a Y hose that or Y filter that has two ports. Um, he does also offer a couple of upgrades. Um, this is a standard kit that you're going to receive as an installer or a customer. Um, 
he does have multiple price options uh, depending on what you want exactly. Um, he does offer a CNG pit stop laser engraved high pressure coalescent filter. So if you want to have uh, uh, the best of the best, there are actual upgrades or specific components required for different vehicles. So just ask or tell them what your application is and you can actually get different uh, components. Uh, this is the map and pressure sensor built into one. Easy plug and play unit. Um, I believe uh, that he is receiving a new batch of new redesigned kits with a new temperature sensor, map sensor, pressure sensor all built into one that will go into your fuel line. Um, I haven't, uh, I don't have my hands on that kit today, but um, at the minimum you will receive a premium map sensor, so there are some future upgrades coming. Um, so in this electric kit, I will go through that. Uh, this, this is right here, um, this is the temperature sensor and your pressure port that will go to your map sensor and that's received standard in your kit but I believe they're going to be doing away with this and integrating both these into one in their new kits. Um, I ha have already pre-beta tested a couple of them and I will tell you it is absolutely amazing. It saves on your wiring time, your look and your install and um, it makes repairs or maintenance in the future it would make them really easy. Um, but this, there's no problems with these components as it is. So, that's those. Alright, this is going to be your regulator temperature sensor. Now, the reason why getting these components from the manufacturer without them being pieced together, trying to find different parts and piecing them together, um, the reason why it's important is because inside of the ECU it's pretty calibrated there's little stars and asterisks next to what they give you. They're already pre-calibrated, pre-tested, and pre-sent out. So when these are installed on the vehicle, they're already done. There doesn't need to be any kind of guessing or wondering if the pressures or the temperatures are correct. It's already pre-done. So that's why it's important to receive these from the company itself um, without you having to modify or guess what they are. Uh, this is going to be your in-cab fuel indicator, diagnostic, and fuel changeover switch, um, all in one. So you have your gas operating light, if you're on gasoline, or you have your fuel indicator, which will easily show you with uh, different LED bars, and it has a simple one-touch button. Um, also, if there are any kind of errors in the system, this will um, alert a chime with this um, Um, and I'm lost for words on this, this uh, uh, speaker, the buzzer type speaker. So if there's any kind of problem in the vehicle, a customer will know. Um, that way they can bring it back to you for service or you can bring it back to your certified installer for this repair. Um, that way you'll know if there's a problem. So this is simple. All you're going to do is drill this hole out on your dash or wherever the customer wants it or where you want it as a customer. Um, this will go in. It's very easy to see, very small, um, so it won't really interfere with your aesthetics of your vehicle. So there's those. Okay, now something that I really advocate while we're in this bag um, that's really hard to find. I've sold a lot of CNG systems. I've, ins I've uh, installed a lot of different CNG systems. And um, something that I've really liked so far are these little heat shrink tubes. You wouldn't believe how difficult it is to go to Radio Shack and find this little hose in a large roll. I can't find these. And when you do, I have to sit there. Something that's really time consuming is i got to sit there and cut these out of my big roll tube if I can find it. And... Um, find the proper diameter heat shrink tube for the ho the wires. So look at that, it already comes with it. So, yeah, you got all these wires. I, uh, I believe they're changing this. I think they're going to a universal plug on their newer kits, but um, in the meantime, this has the proper heat shrink tube pre-cut, pre-ready to go. So that makes your install, that will cut down on your install time right there. 
and that's part of the kit. Uh, oh, here's a vacuum tee as well for your um, for your map vacuum. And all right, so here are your nozzles for your manifold, your injectors for your manifold, and they're using the premium brass Allen key nozzle. I did do a video about this, about the importance of this. I cannot stress this out enough. If you buy a kit from anybody else other than OMVL, um, you have to be absolutely careful. Um, the inside of these nozzles that get drilled into your intake manifold, I have had a lot of problems with them. They've had different sizes of the inside, and the, or they have not been big enough inside. And this company looks like they're using the same type that OMVL is. Um, yeah, this looks like the same one. I would absolutely not jeopardize this. This is critical. This is your final piece of your natural gas system that um, creates an enormous amount of problems. So already this kit already has these nozzles, which I cannot find any better than this anywhere. So this is critical. This is important. And it looks like this kit has good nozzles. I mean, the best. Um, right here, this this is going to be for your intake manifold as well. This is a pressure port that's going to go to your um, your manifold vacuum. So you have that as well. Um, it looks like you have a solder on crimp connect, um, female butt connectors. So there's that. Uh, what these little itty bitty wiring clip. Uh, um, I mean, hose clamps are for, these are for your individual injector hoses that go from your gas injector to these brass nozzles. Uh, this is something that I received a lot of complaints about, and I also had a really, really hard time finding, because finding the right clamp in a, in a non-Chinese cheap clamp is dang near impossible. So I've seen a bunch of his installs, and the first time I saw one, that was my first thing that I noticed on his injector hose was these easy-to-use um, hose clamps. So that way he has a gas-tight air leak seal from his injector to his uh, nozzle, so that, that guarantees and ensures years of reliable service. And he's got enough here for definitely a complete four-cylinder install, which this kit is. Um, so I'll put that stuff aside. Now I don't really want to open this bag up, but I'll tell you right now what's inside of there. He has his water tees. Um, inside here are the vent hoses. There are two of them. Uh, the vent hoses, you're going to have one for your gas pressure release, and you're going to have one for your, uh, or your, uh, one for your fuel line coming in or out of your passenger compartment of your vehicle or your truck. So he has the, yeah, you're just going to use a hole saw drill into it, mount it onto the glue it, and then mount it onto your floor bed, and that way it's sealed. And then when you attach your hose, your protective hose, your gas tube, um, your gas protection hose around this, you can crimp it with the provided zip ties. Um, also, you have your, your uh, looks like plenty of C-clips for your fuel hose. Uh, that's something that a lot of people would complain about. Uh, they wouldn't receive enough of those uh, from my kits, and, and there are plenty in here. Um, he has a standard uh, fuel tank 6 millimeter um, uh, compression fitting thing, uh, pieces. Looks like you see four, five, six. Wow, that's a lot. So you have and there's an assortment of hose clamps. Um, there are two, it looks like there are two mounting tabs for your fuel injectors in here. So this is just a standard um, parts kit. I absolutely promise you, you're gonna be using everything that's inside of here. This is just a standard bag. This is standard with uh, this kit. Um, I will show you the upgrade of this. Um, this gas gauge that he's using, there are many types of gas gauges available in the world, and there are, I have experienced them, I have used every single one of the natural gas manometers in the world, and I am telling you, after all of the service calls that I received, um, there is only one natural gas injector 
or I mean natural gas gauge that I would put on a vehicle and trust longevity. I don't know who makes this gauge, but it is not AEB directly, but it is an AEB style. So what the importance of that is, is whether you're using this kit or somebody else's kit, if you need a part from Gary, make dang sure that you buy this from him. The reason why is because this is the best pressure gauge in the world is the most compatible with every natural gas system and uh, this this has has a zero percent failure rate on every vehicle that I've sold it on or uh, installed it on and trust me I beat the heck out of these I freeze them I heat them up I destroy them I put them in under salt um, water spray if you're gonna buy a fuel pressure gauge whether you're buying it and getting it installed on a vehicle you're installing it on a vehicle or you need one Make sure you go through CNG Pit Stop. He has these for sure. As soon as I saw this, um, I went down and bought one because I needed one. So he is giving you the best pressure gauge in the world already. Okay, so that's that's important as you don't want uh, you don't want to be driving down the road and have your uh, not know how much fuel is inside of your vehicle. Uh, that sucks. Okay, so the CNG reducer that he has, there are two models available. Okay, this is the Tomasito 250 horsepower reducer. Um, so far, in the US market, there are only two reliable regulators that we have uh, available to us. Um, I can't find any other, others in the entire world, and um, this is one of the most reliable. I mean, not most reliable there's there's only two that are even working and there's a lot of stuff that you see on eBay and they'll say that it works but it's all coming from China and you need to make sure that you buy the real Tomasito um, 250 horsepower reducer uh, there, I have seen some Chinese copies of these and I have um, worked on them and the problem with them is they are not they're not putting out the pressure that the real version right here is putting out um, and I'll show you why how I know this um, this is the real deal this is a real Italian reducer um, this this blue top right here that you see he only will give in the four cylinder kits regardless of horsepower because of uh, what we've tested if you have a V6 or any V8 you're going to get the 400, 400 horsepower reducer it's called the AT12 Super so this will, he doesn't just use one regulator for everything. Um, you're going to see a lot of kits out there on eBay that have two of these reducers installed in a vehicle for high horsepower engines. Uh, it's absolutely retarded. Um, it, not only does it increase the space necessary, but it increase, increases the clutter, and it's absolutely not necessary. So whether you have a V6 or V8 kit, you're going to get an actual 400 horsepower reducer, which will clean up your install, make your install look cleaner, and um, uh, reduce your maintenance costs in the future. You know, if you have one reducer that goes out, your half your system is going to work, and you're not going to know what's going on. Um, so there is your reducer that you're going to receive standard in your four-cylinder kits. Okay. So how do you know if you have a Chinese version of this, if you're buying it on eBay or from anybody else? Uh, one, Tomasino only gives this bracket. If your bracket is square, if you see a square bracket, okay, where the mount that mounts to the regulator, that's Chinese. Chinese do not use this. Also, standard with all Italian components. If the component comes out of Italy, uh, it is mandatory that they have their certificate. Uh, with it and you're not going to see this with uh, a Chinese regulator So make sure that you're buying from an actual OEM distributor of this that way You know you get the correct real Italian part and it's not a Chinese copy um, This right here is their certificate um, of their compliance So that is very very important um, This is the real box so far. I have not seen a Chinese copy of this box either so um, it's very important you're buying something like this from an OEM distributor. Um, so this is your HANA. This is, should be a gold. 
1.9 ohm. Yeah, this is gold. So HANA is really only mainstreaming two injector rails right now, uh, the HANA Gold and the HANA Blue. Uh, the HANA Gold is the mainstream product that Gary offers, and um, this injector, what makes it special is its cost, its ease of installation, and its reliability, and absolute uh, longevity. Um, as long as you're using a really high quality filter, this injector is absolutely second to none. Um, there's only a couple different uh, injectors that I recommend, but the power and the performance you can get out of this injector is incredible. Um, I have a video that I posted of me pulling Parley's Canyon at 80, uh, 70 miles an hour pulling my trailer. That was not possible with any other injector. The reliability and from day to day usage and performance that you receive from the HANA injector, there's for the price and what you're getting, there's no injector between this one and a $600 set of injectors. So, um, coming with this kit, uh, all, as far as what I've seen in the Europe Gas software, um, they use and mainstream HANA products. And inside of the pro program, if you don't know what kind of injector nozzles or the flow rating you're going to need for your vehicle, there's actually a calculator inside of that software that will help you and make sure that you choose the right injector. That way when you hit auto calibration, all the work that you've done is done based on your pressure, the engine horsepower, and the injector quality. Uh, either a Hanna Blue, Hanna Gold. Uh, this rail here is the standard in his kit, and like I said, there are upgrades. Depending on your needs and what you're going to use your vehicle for, make sure that you tell either your retail installer of this system or CNG Pit Stop if you're going to take it down there. Make sure you tell them what you're going to be using your vehicle for. Um, if you have like a Honda vehicle that you want to race, make sure you tell them that you want a Hanna Blue individual. It's going to cost you a little bit more, but he has them. So, um, there are different upgrades and different possibilities that you can do, but this is going to be standard in your kit as a customer. Um, right now, I've had uh, I've been sending a lot of people there, and um, they're really really concerned about the price, the initial price. So, um, but this you're not going to compromise the the type of injector or the type of system that you're going to get. You're definitely going to get the best right away. So that's that's my deal about the injectors. Okay, now this he was very adamant about. This is his upgrade pack that is not available from the Europe Gas. This is something that he offers in his kits uh, to make sure that the, the kit is installed correctly and also make it completely easy. It is very difficult to find this stuff out on your own. Uh, right now he has the proper rated uh, protective bag for your that will mount onto your fuel tank and protect your line outside of the uh, uh, where that little your little plastic piece will go in your, the bed of your vehicle or your floor pan so you're going to connect this to the tank secure it and then you're going to put it right here that way it's done and easy you have everything you need so there's your bagging material uh, it's EPA compliant uh, let me check something real quick Okay, good. I heard my phone make a beep, so I want to make sure it's still recording. Okay, right here, this is actually very difficult to find. Uh, this is a quick tap, uh, double junction quick tap that will go in your fuse box under your hood or inside of your passenger compartment. This right here he offers, so you don't need to go and find it, but it offers a um, where you want to tap your um, switch. There's a switch that'll turn this on. And so you have your hard power, you have your hard ground, but you're going to have a switched um, wire. And where do you want to attach this quick tap? If you did not put it into your injector harness, you're going to want to put this in your injector fuse, either A or B. Um, so he provides this to you. Alright, and the proper zip ties, because you're going to need to go get some stronger, bigger zip ties for the bagging material. And he provides the two for the four cylinder kit. Okay, this is his fill nozzle. And I'll talk a little bit about his fill nozzle. It is available to you as a customer or a OEM um, in different 
different styles. This is a P36 valve. Uh, he does also offer this as a P30 and two options also available as a quarter inch or I believe, no it wasn't a quarter inch, it was a three eighths. He offers this as a three eighths. So if you have uh, like a Chevy Cavalier that's failed, he actually has a three eighths um, adapter or I mean um, nozzle. This one is a six millimeter, which is standard because this hose is six millimeter. So make sure you specify as a customer whether uh, or installer if you want this in a different size because he does offer this a different sizes. Now, what makes this uh, filled nozzle universal is he also goes and gets laser uh, cut washers for something very unique as well as a, also another upgrade. Um, he also offers a factory plastic fill receptacle that you can mount anywhere on the body uh, of the vehicle for filling purposes. So if you want a nice clean install, uh, not in your factory fill door, but you want it somewhere else in your vehicle, um, he has these laser cut uh, washers that you can put this in and you can have a factory fill mount like what General Motors is using on uh, their new trucks. So. Uh, he does have some also, also some other upgrades. So this is a very universal, very easy to install um, fill receptacle. Um, he does have these um, clamps here. I don't know what they're for. Um, but they're for something. So those are provided. And what I'm holding in my hand right now, I can tell you, is uh, about $200 worth of these little fittings. Uh, no, let's see, no, this is uh, this is one fifty a piece. Yeah, so about 200 bucks right here. Um, so his main purpose was he wanted to make sure that what was inside this box, what his installers would receive, or as a customer, um, everything is complete. These are actual bolts. Uh, with the self-locking nut that you can use for this fill receptacle mount, okay? He wanted to make sure that everything was complete from start to finish with your kit. So, um, if you get on eBay right now, there are some people selling something like this, but they are, um, they're giving you self-tapping screws. Absolutely bullcrap. You cannot mount this, which is required to exceed, oh, I forgot the pressure rating, but this is actually has, by EPA standards, federal standards, and safety standards, this has to, uh, if you leave your fill nozzle connected, I think it was uh, 150 foot-pounds of torque, of force. A self-tapping screw is not going to hold 150 horse uh, foot-pound torque on there. Um, I can tell you that a bolt and a washer will, but... A self-tapping screw is absolutely freaking retarded. Um, that is not offered in your kit as a customer or uh, as an install installer's kit. Um, so that's why he provides that. He wants to make sure that everything is going to be safe and legal. Okay, so you do receive that. Okay, now do you remember the check valve that I was telling you about, the one-way check valve? Um, the reason why that's important was... There was, uh, there was a company that pulled up to a CNG station in Rock Springs, Wyoming one night. That's where I work. And this company here in Salt Lake City charges 12000 Well, at the time, they charged $12,500 for the same vehicle that I had, the same pickup truck. And we were both filling up, okay, and when he disconnected his fuel line, um, this valve, not this one particularly, but, but the valve that he was using, shot gas out, natural gas out, and it shot it out six feet, and, you know, I was like, dude, what the heck, I've never had that happen, and he says, well, this has happened to me a couple times, they're working on the fill nozzle, trying to figure it out, figure, find out what it is, okay, what the deal was, I already knew what the problem was, uh, when you're filling up with a gas that's very, very cold outside during the winter, Utah has some pretty hard winters, but Wyoming, definitely, freaking nine months out of the year is harsh. So people don't understand that. Um, what happened was the fuel actually froze this needle open until it thawed out. And the problem was it's a cascade effect failure 
as it kept shooting out more gas, this nozzle got colder and colder and colder and prevented that from um, closing off. So it actually drained his whole dang tank. And he said it happened to him a couple times. Now, uh, by federal EPA re regulations, if you take your vehicle down, which you, any person can do, you don't have to be a company to take your vehicle down and get it EPA certified. Uh, the one thing that they are going to check is this one-way check valve. Uh, this gets installed between the fill receptacle, okay, right, pretty much right behind it. But this one-way check valve will prevent fuel from flowing the other way. It's just a double precaution. Uh, not only uh, in case of a failure of this, in case components flew out of it, uh, this will say could save somebody's life. But it also prevents. It's a double protection to prevent people's uh, tanks from uh, emptying out. And um, this is a swage lock fitting. This has swage lock fittings in a lock nut, which I probably lost. Nope, it's there. Okay, so there is a, this swage lock has a double lock with the Teflon protection inside. And uh, the lock isn't coming out. But there is a lock that actually goes inside of this uh, ferrule here and locks it. I have worked on a lot of different vehicles, and Parker and Swage Lock were the two main companies who manufactured the uh, components for OEMs back in the day. And I will tell you, the only system that I can pull apart with ease every time and has perfect sealing even after 15 to 20 years has been the Swage Lock fitting. Uh, absolutely fantastic. You just don't get leaks with it. Uh, every time you install it, it saves you time because all the hose that you cut, you know for sure this is going to seal and it won't leak. And if you need to take off in 10 years and the driver's been driving on the beaches in California every single day, uh, getting salt spray on there, you know you're going to be able to pull this off. So this is a real swage lock. Um, he specializes in all the swage lock. If you need swage lock fittings, he actually stocks all those fittings. And yeah, it's really expensive, but that's all he likes. He loves them because of the reliability of it. Um, something that he wanted me to tell people was he provides a system from tank to engine compartment, the whole thing. These are your tank fittings, and he can give these to you in different sizes depending on your tank, your CNG tank. Make sure you specify what you need. A rubber O-ring, um, and this is a swage lock, available in 6 millimeter, quarter inch, 3 eighths. So make sure you tell them what you need, but as a customer or an installer, you're not going to get crappy Chinese stuff. You're going to get the real nice swage lock components. And this is your vent line right here. This is going to go to your tank, to your vent, um, provided. And if you need a block, a stop, he has that as well in the upgraded parts kit. So this is unique to Gary's system. Um, he likes to make sure that everybody has everything they need installed the correct way. So let me go through the other portion that I have a lot of experience in um, doing installs. Something that you're going to struggle with is if you're going to be a business owner, if you want to open up your own CNG shop and do your own CNG conversions, something that you're going to have a really, really freaking hard time doing is finding the proper hoses that you need to complete your install. Okay? Um, I've worked with this hose, and as soon as I saw it on his shelf, um, I, I already know, I've already experienced this and worked with this. But finding the proper CNG or LPG rated hose that will last is hard to find. You're not going to find this on eBay. Nobody knows what you exactly need. And if they do, the Chinese are overwhelming the heck out of the market with crappy stuff. Every single Chinese hose that I have used looks nice from the initial startup. But if I go back to it 30 days later, the hose dissolves into a powder in my hands and falls apart and when you go to pull on it, it rips apart and shreds. That's not safe. That's not what you want for a customer's vehicle. This hose that he's using is coming from the manufacturer itself who is supplying his kits to him. Uh, this uh, company here, this is LPG CNG hose. Um, this is going to be your fuel hose goes from your regulator to in your injection injection rail. Depending on if you have a V6 kit or a V8 kit or a four-cylinder kit, you'll receive different lengths of this. 
So it is extremely critical that you get the right hose the first time installed on your vehicle. That way you don't need to go back. Um, this little hose right here, this is going to be the vacuum that's going to go from your regulator to your um, map sensor. Now, proper rated. That way you know it's going to work on the fittings and the components that you receive in your kit. Alright, should have two hoses here for water. No, one. Okay, so this is going to be your water hose. And EPDM, that's why it's good hose. Alright, that's why it's good. Alright, so this is going to be your water hose that will go from your water tee to your regulator to keep it warm. Which is law, you have to have your regulator heated, that is federal law, EPA law. Uh, this is going to be your vacuum hose. LPG, no, this is going to be your injector hose. So you're going to get your proper injector hose, LPG CNG rated. Uh, what is this? This got to be hard. Yeah, this is going to be your... Nope, this is LPG CNG as well. I think this is your injector. Yeah, this one's actually your injector hose. Oh, this one's your vacuum hose. Okay, so there you have it. Um, there are all of your components that are now falling off the table. Um, but I think I've reviewed these very thoroughly. Um, so now I'll talk about myself a little bit. Um, as I stand right now, I have been doing years of research and development on natural gas systems components, um, trying to thoroughly test out what works and what doesn't work. Um, so if, if you like this CNG kit, make sure that you go to cngpitstock.com and talk to Gary. Um, if you want to be a company representative, you want to have your own CNG company doing your own installs, um, Gary does offer a uh, package and I believe the price was, so let's say you want to open up your, new, your own CNG shop. Um, what I believe that he told me of his prices were is if um, you came to him, you had, it, you want, you had the, everything you wanted, the package fee is $6,400. And what it does is it offers a training program for two to three students, uh, plus his uh, traveler, travel expenses. And what he includes is in that fee is one CNG engine kit and all other components for a complete CNG conversion except the tank. And uh, let's see, also included is one specialty tools kit valued at over $1,000. Okay, the CNG tool kit that he is offering to people as well, this is a very important thing. Um, this took years of research and development trying to there are a lot of little neat tools gadgets that will come in extremely handy for diagnosing uh, repairing and assisting the installer in making a proper CNG conversion inside of that kit are a lot of proprietary things that uh, myself I won't tell people what I have in my own kit I have had a lot of uh, people want to know what I have and Look, it has taken me since um, I've been working on cars for um, almost 22 years. And I will tell you, in that time, it has cost me a lot of money to make find the, these neat little tools. I mean, you know, you can walk in a, in a tool shop four states away and see something that you never saw in the exact same store in your own hometown. And when you walk by, you think, oh, man, I needed that for this. Okay, he as well as the, uh, his partner have um, wanted to put together something to make everybody that they are training um, advance and excel that learning curve and that is also provided. Um, if you want to purchase that kit if you're doing uh, your own uh, conversions and you're not working with him he will sell that to you. Um, I believe the price was eight hundred to a thousand dollars depending on your specialized equipment that he has. Uh, he is offering a couple of uh, very, very, very expensive um, uh, computer tools in there. Um, so that is included in that $6,400 price. And Okay, so what he offers is factory training with the Europe Gas system. Everything that you've seen here, this is just a basic kit, but he's going to train and, and factory certify you because he's factory certified by Europe Gas. 
Um, Eurogas actually flies him out there every time they have a new product or a new demonstration or an update on their program. They fly him out there. Not He doesn't pay for anything. They fly him out there. They go through a week-long training course with him. They want to make sure that Gary is uh, understands their product and installs it correctly based on their factory system. Um, I don't know of anybody else here in the United States that's doing that. Um, I don't know of any other European company that is actually taking their representatives from the United States over to their their own training facilities. Um, so if you're, as a customer or if you're doing your own, if you want to open up your own CNG system, he will make sure that you're trained the way it's supposed to be installed the right time, the, the first time. So you're going to have your NFPA 52 latest edition test, your CGA regulations, and uh, make sure that you're doing everything based on the way that he wants everything installed. Um, something that, you're, that is very, very important, um, if you see Gary, you go into a shop, uh, you make a really quick stop by, uh, you're going to see that he is a, you're, you can actually see his CSA certified uh, CNG inspection installer um, certifications on the wall. They are all up to date and the latest. Um, he is a ASC certified alternative fuel system technician. He has a patch on his shirt with the certification on his wall right when you walk into his building. Um, he has a certificate in compressed natural gas installation from Dixie Applied Technical College. He has 15 years in automotive service and repair in CNG installation and service, including 12 different makes or models of CNG systems. He is factory trained in Poland in the Europe gas CNG systems for gasoline and diesel engines. Okay, so he does offer these kits in multiple configurations depending on your, your needs. And his prices are very, very um, direct, forward, and very cheap. Um, he's very competitive. I will tell you, the prices that are on that paper you're going to find are cheaper or as uh, the same price of kits that are not complete on eBay. So if you're looking at buying a kit on eBay, um, it's not going to be as thorough and as complete as what I'm showing you today. Um, there are some proprietary things that I will not show you that you do get um, because we don't want people copying those same systems. Um, as far as a customer goes, which is what I am with CNG Pissed Off, um, what you want to expect from somebody converting your vehicle to natural gas is somebody that not only knows natural gas or can buy kits from somewhere and, and put them on and know how to do that. You want to take your vehicle to somebody who actually knows and can work on and diagnose that specific vehicle. An example was I went down there one time to buy some parts and uh, a dealership sent him a brand new Subaru um, I think it was a Forester, and the customer who bought the Forester from that dealership wanted a CNG conversion done, and so the, the company brought that vehicle down to him, and they told him you have three days to get the vehicle done, okay? Well, what Gary was, um, working on was, um, when he first received the vehicle, the vehicle had a miss, a misfire. Okay, well it turned out that the uh, vehicle, that Subaru Forester, even though it looked nice, it was clean, detailed, pretty, looked like it ran pretty good, uh, that Subaru had a broken camshaft. And if anybody knows about that Subaru Boxer engine, it's a very highly technical engine, very, very intelligent fuel injection system. Uh, but what the problem was, was uh, diagnosing that camshaft. Uh, he was able to send that head in, remove the head, uh, send it into a machine shop, have them do the machining work, um, get new cams for it, and get all the proper components to repair that vehicle before he installed the CNG kit. Okay, if you would have taken your vehicle to some other CNG shop, any of them that I've seen, either you would have been charged an astronomical rate, um, or they would have just put the kit on and said goodbye. I've seen it with every single other install shop here in Salt Lake City. So. That's the importance of taking your vehicle to somebody who knows what they're doing with vehicles as well. Um, I do get asked quite a bit, what about a BMW or a Mercedes or an Audi or any other German car? Well, guess what? Guess what they drive in Poland and Italy? 
they don't drive around with Chevy trucks and Chevy Impalas. They drive around in Audis, Mercedes, BMWs, and Volkswagens. These systems are actually engineered and designed around Subarus, uh, Audis, Mercedes, and BMWs. So if you're worried and concerned about that, um, if it can work, heck yeah it can. And if there are a problem, like, like and another thing is people have to take their, their Audis or BMWs to a uh, import shop. Well, guess what is right next door in the same building as Gary's shop? A very successful import um, repair facility. So if there's a problem, he can walk right next door and either receive services or take your vehicle to a real import uh, repair shop. So that way he knows that your vehicle will work correctly on CNG. Um, something else that's really important with Gary that I've been watching is um, as a customer you can go by any time of the day um, I really suggest that you go in any time of the day and you um, just stop in unannounced and see what he's working on and you're gonna be absolutely amazed um, so he started out doing normal vehicle conversions where people just wanted a clean CNG install if you walk in there right now today, his, uh, he has a full line of vehicles out there with illegal, crappy, poor mixer-based systems installed on vehicles. Or um, uh, these new fuel injection systems from other companies that are being put on vehicles and they have misfires that are causing catalytic converter damage and nobody can tune them or get them right. And people are actually paying him to remove those systems and put this on. And uh, if you walk in there unannounced, his friendly staff will be able to show you exactly what they're working on. They'll be happy to give you a tour of, of what they're doing. And people are trusting him. Um, you got to understand, people are paying $6,000 for mixer systems with expired CNG tanks or CNG tanks that are coming up expired. They're paying him an additional three to six thousand dollars to re-retrofit it with legal components. Uh, there, he is taking the expired CNG tanks, he's putting carbon fiber type one, two tanks in there depending on the customer's budget and putting his system on. Now that's a really huge cost for a customer that um, thought that they were going to save a lot of money by finding somebody on KSL and uh, taking their vehicle down and paying a thousand dollars, fourteen hundred dollars for a CNG system to be installed on their vehicle. They think, oh man, I'm going to save so much money. Uh, well, uh, he was doing a Dodge Hemi uh, last week and those catalytic converters are fourteen hundred dollars and the CNG system that was installed on that vehicle I believe was uh, ten thousand five hundred dollars because of the gas tanks that he got. And that customer has uh, been fed up with taking their vehicle to the place that originally installed it. Uh, they just call it quits when they damaged their catalytic converters on their truck that had 30,000 miles on it. Uh, that was $1,400. So um, I can't remember the price, but his normal price is around $3,000 for a conversion, so it may have been right around there. Um, so this customer has already spent damn near $15,000 to convert their vehicle to natural gas to save their uh, fuel costs on their commercial fleet. Where if they would have just taken their vehicle, that truck in the first time to Gary, it would have cost them, I think, $6,000 for the same system and set up. And they wouldn't have been back. Um, something else that I've been seeing is um, I've needed some parts and he's been really, he was really, really busy. And it turned out that there's a Ford dealership up here in Salt Lake that was taking their uh, vehicles in for to a CNG conversion shop. And all of the reputable CNG conversion shops have been doing such a bad job that they, they're going out of business. And uh, they, they had these two pickup trucks, two 2014 Ford vehicles, that Ford pickup trucks, that needed to be converted. And they already waited three weeks. And... They took their, these two trucks right down to him. They wanted to see if he could do the installs. They said, look, these, these trucks have 50 miles on them. The customer's already paid for these. They said they need them this week or they're canceling their order. Can you get it done? Uh, Gary did factory conversions. He went and had 
uh, CNG tank covers, factory laser cut uh, to that, those specific vehicles. And he tailored a system specifically for, for what that Ford dealership um, charged and could afford. And so look, if he's doing factory conversions and uh, these dealerships are trusting him to do their factory conversions, that's obviously somewhere you want to go. So I think I've laid everything out very well and detailed. Um, this is a review for cmgpitstop.com. This is their, uh, their components and kits. Um, so if you have any kind of questions or comments, um, please direct them to Gary at cmgpitstop.com. And um, if you have any kind of components, or questions, um, or injectors you want me to test out, I'm done testing. I will not accept any more testing products. Uh, there are only two systems that I will even install in my vehicle, and these components are actually one of them. So if you see these here, this is all I'm using anymore, and uh, I will not use anything else. So um, thank you for your time, and um, thanks for watching.